Yes. Okay, so we shall start this week by lab one. If you open your manual, you will find the manual on Moodle. So you take that, we will see experiment one. The title of experiment one is simple pendulum. Okay? So as the name states, it's a simple pendulum, so it will be hopefully a simple experiment. We will have a pendulum. If you remember the old granny's clock when it was ting ting ting, that is your pendulum. So basically we will have something like that there, we will see afterwards. If we have to have a bowl, we have a bowl attached to a string, as we can see here. The bowl will move back and forth in a periodic form. We will have a machine here that will, using the sensors, it will see the ball moving and it will count how many times the ball comes and goes, and as well as the time. Okay? Basically, the aim of the experiment today is Firstly, to study the motion of a simple pendulum. So we need to study, as I said today now, just now, the motion is periodic. Secondly, to learn the relationship between the period, T, the force of gravity, G, and the length of the simple pendulum. We will learn the relationship for these three and we will test it. And finally, to determine G, which is the acceleration to the gravity of this experiment. Basically, when you do your calculations, when the ball is moving back and forth, the ball has a period. The ball has also a force, which is the gravity. When you take the equilibrium here, your equilibrium. My handwriting is very bad, but still. The equilibrium here, when you take it, you will have the force acting. You have the gravitational force, F is equal to mg, and you have your acceleration as well. And when you take the whole circle of this, which is the 2 pi, so basically T is equal to 2 pi square root of L over G. When you square it, you will have T squared is equal to 4 pi square L over G, as you can see in this last equation. This will be your equation. This will be equation 1, which you will be using in your report. And this will be the equation 1, which we will base our experiment on. The same with me, it's basically any equation. To study the equation, you either if you hear in this case we have T, L, and G. So you either set G and L and find the T, or you set T and L and find the G, or you can set T, G and find the L. You will have unknown and you will have the knowns. In an equation, in just one equation, if you have three unknowns, of course you cannot find the equation. Or you cannot find the relationship between anything. So here, in this case now, as we move to the table, we shall fluctuate the length. We will start the length by 70. 80, 90, 100 centimeters. Be careful of the centimeters. We will have a specific number of oscillations. Why do we have a specific number of oscillations? Of course, to find, when, to find the period. How do we find the period? The period T is T over number of oscillations. That's how we find the period. The equipment will do it for us. But just in case, this is our final. And the T will be different and the L, the T, sorry, the big T will be different and the L will be different. So we find it, the G. Now we will move to how we will be able to do that. And before moving to that, we will see the apparatus. So basically, as we can see here, this is our apparatus. We have this pole stand here. We have the clamp on the side. We have our string, we have our metallic ball, and we have our counter here. The meter stick is not existing. We don't have a meter stick, but we have a stick which we put holes in it. So technically, this is our 70 centimeters, this is our 80, this is our 90, and this is our 100 centimeters. Remember, guys, one thing is very important. When you're putting your numbers in the equations to find the G, you should have it in the SI system, so it means you don't use the centimeters, you use the meters. So you transform from centimeters to meters. So 70 centimeters is 0 0.7 meters, and so on and so forth. And in the experiment also you have your stop. This is the stop. Stop button. So what we will do is, we will turn this on and we will pick for the, all of them the same 
starting point here, as close as we can, and then we let them out. Okay? We let it, it will oscillate back and forth. When, when it starts counting here on the machine, when it starts counting, we turn it off and we turn it on again so we can have a more accurate reading. Of course, it didn't start yet. Maybe because the bulb isn't seeing the sensor or the wall is moving too fast. Okay. So now it started counting. Turn on, turn off. It will start counting from one, if you can zoom in, please. It start counting from one, two, so on and so forth. Of course, it's counting how many times the ball is going and coming. And when it reaches to 20, we push the button and it stops. Okay, it gives us the small T, it gives us the big T. And that is what, how we did the experiment. We did it for 100, for 90, for 80, for 70. If we move back to the board, these are your results right here. Okay? These are your results right here. Period, time, number of oscillations. This will be the table you shall present in the report. If you forgot how to write a report, please go back to the introduction video and see how to write a report. So, again, I will have a quick reminder for this. The report writing, you will write the aim of the experiment. You have the aims here. The apparatus, I talked about it in the video. The diagram is just a drawing of what the apparatus is. You can find this apparatus on Google. You take it, you put it in your report. The procedure is what I did. I explained quickly. We attached already, the string was attached. The ball will oscillate back and forth. The counter will count how many times. We have to stop it with our finger, the stop button. It stops, you read T and big T, and you write it down, okay? You have your equation. This is your equation. T squared is equal to four pi squared L over G. This is your equation. After the equation, you will have to put your tables. This is your table, yes? And in addition to the table, you have a t squared. You will ask me how do I find the t squared? Very simple. You have the period here, you square it. And you fill, you fill in the t squared. Four values of t squared. After you fill in your table, you have your calculations. For the calculations, you will have g1, g2, g3, and G4. This is what you will calculate. G1 for the first line, and for T1, which is the first line, T square 1, and L1 for this length, you will have G2 for the second, T2 square, and L2 square for the second one, for the third one it's here, and for the fourth one is here. Right? So you have four values of G. After your calculations, you will have a graph. The graph will be t squared and l versus l. L should be in. If you want, you can put it in centimeters or you can make it in meters, whatever you want. How to draw a graph, of course, you can start, you take a scale. You can take the scale 20 here if you want, 40, 60, 80, 100. And here you can take it maybe one, two, three, so on. So let's say we have here 70, and we have 2.8, for example. You will have, this is your point 0.1. Again, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4. If, if they do not align, you make a fitting line that fits most of the points. If they do align, they align, very good. After your table, you will have, after your graph, you will have results and discussion. You state G1 is this much, let's say, 9 point something. G2 is 9 point something. You put your results and you discuss them. Are they the same? Are they not the same? What could be the problem? Why are they not the same? Why are they the same? This is what you should discuss. And finally, we'll have a conclusion to conclude all of what I was talking about now. Now, several pointers you need to put in your head. The first thing is, when you're writing the equation in the report, you're writing, you put t squared is equal to 4 pi squared L over G. 
You say T is the period, L is the length, and G is the acceleration to gravity. You put it there. This is how you write your equation. You need to tell me what is T, what is L, what is G. This is first pointer. Second pointer, the diagram can be drawn by your hand, can be taken as an image, doesn't matter. Third pointer, okay, your A can be the same, the apparatus can be the same, diagram can be the same, whatever. The things that are not, should not be the same are the results and discussion, the conclusion, and the and my, the procedure might be different as well. So these three, if I see copy-pasting or the same, exactly the same, word by word, I shall deduct grades. I shall put zero. Please don't discuss with me that much. Especially for the online people, if I see exactly the same report copied from one, another, another, I'll put zero for everyone, okay? So please do not copy. You're not smarter than us. We're not smarter than you guys. We can know what you're doing. We were students, we're still students. So please be careful. Try not to cheat and write in your own words. Good luck for this week's exam. And something is very important. Saturday, this Saturday, which will be, what will it be? Shelly, can you check? Okay, this Saturday, I will check the time again, will be your first quiz. Please make sure to go to Moodle again and again to check. I will post it now, today, at what time your quiz will be. It will be Saturday afternoon. I will post the exact time in a little bit, and you shall check it out. Please, if you miss the quiz, you get a zero. There is no makeup for quizzes. There is a lot of students. There are not a lot of excuses you can do. I'm telling you ahead of time that your quiz will be at that time. Please make sure you have internet at that time. It will be a quick quiz. Don't tell me your laptop crashed. Don't tell me your phone crashed. If your laptop crashes, you have your phone. If your phone crashes, you have your laptop. You can go somewhere, some place. Be in a place with good internet. Check your phone ahead of time. Be prepared for the quiz. Because there is no makeup for the quiz. For the reports, there are makeups. You can check the syllabus, which is on Moodle. You can have the dates, you can know the dates of everything, you can know what we're going to do, what are the names, what's everything. If you still have questions, don't hesitate to send an email to asultan at ciu.edu.tr. Don't hesitate, send me an email, I shall reply if you have any questions. Please do not miss this week's quiz, study well, thank you very much, see you next week.